Hi guys, it's Claire from Nursery and today I'm due to change out my hamster. Um, I don't know if you can see him behind me, he's just having some food. He might come up to the plastic now. Um, but yeah, this is Thorin um, and he is six months old. He's a Russian dwarf hamster um, and yeah, he's due to have his cage cleaned and changed today. So, the first thing that I need to do is I need to get him into his ball so that I can take the cage apart and clean all the different parts of the cage. Um, and yeah, to do that I need to get him into his ball first. So I'm going to do two separate videos today because he's just gone into his coconut tree house which means it's going to be quite hard to get him into his ball. Um, so it will take quite a while. But once I've got him into his ball, what I do is I empty out all the dirty bedding that he sleeps in. And then, yeah, I go and wash the cage with some water. Um, so I, this week I don't have to do it with this. So this is special disinfectant. I do it once a month. Um, so whilst I rinse the cage off with water, I also spray a bit of disinfectant on it. But I did that last week. So he just needs the cage rinsed off today. Um, so yeah, I'll go and wash the cage um, and then when I come back I will talk to you about how I care for my hamster and what he does, what he eats um, and I'll show you how I put the cage back together, okay? Welcome back. So I have washed the cage out. It's all nice and dry now and ready to put back together. So Thorin has had a good walk in his ball. He's still in his ball at the minute. Um, and I will just go and get him and talk to you about him. So bear with me two seconds. Oh, here we go. So this is Thorin in his ball at the minute. So like I said before, he is a Russian dwarf hamster. Um, he's six months old and he doesn't particularly like his ball. So he keeps going and hiding in the corner at the minute, don't you? But yeah, we're gonna put his cage back together and then get him back in his cage. So once I put his cage back together, I will talk you through what it is that I put in his cage and what I do on a daily basis to look after him. So I'll just put him back down a minute so he can do a bit of running. There go. Right, so the first thing I do is I need to put his bed in into his bottom of his cage. So this is called Carefresh. It is a special bed in for hamsters, rabbits and guinea pigs. Um, and it is very, very good for them. So we'll open this up and we will put it in the bottom, but the cat is, otherwise it gets very, very messy. And I have just vacuumed as well. So, yeah, we just put this in the bottom, nice and easy. Like that, get it up there. And we just break it up into the bottom so that he can he has somewhere to hide because hamsters love places to hide they're nocturnals which means that they only come out during the night um, you have to wake them up during the day and they don't like being woken up during the day hence why Thorin is a bit angry today because he doesn't like being woken up so yeah we put lots of bedding on the bottom to make it so they can burrow in it and hide in it and go to sleep and I make sure that I also put some of this bed in in his bed and in his tree house so that he has got some somewhere to sleep in his little bed and his tree house which I will show you now so this is his little bed that he goes to sleep in it's got a little lid as well so we're just gonna put some care fresh in now some bedding in here not too much because he tends to just kick it straight out because he's funny like that. There we go. That's his bed sorted. I like to get this done a bit quick because he doesn't like being in his ball for too long. And then the next thing I do is I put 
some in his coconut tree house. Now his coconut tree house is very good for him because hamsters need a lot of exercise. So at the minute Thorin's in this ball to get some exercise, um, which means he just does a load of running. But with this, he climbs into his tree house, which helps his strength in his little paws and everything. So this is very good for him to have, but we'll stick some bedding in there as well so he can go to sleep. This is his favourite, favourite house. He likes sleeping in here because he can just hide away. So there we go, that's got some stuff in there now for him. So I'll just put that aside because I've got to tie that to the top of his cage for him, which I can do a bit later when that's sorted. Right, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see a lot of what I do in the cage now, but I'm going to start putting some of his stuff back together. So this is his favourite toy, this is his wheel um, that at night time he runs around on. And again, it helps with his exercise and keeps him active, um, but he really, really likes it. And hamsters really like wheels, but that goes about there. And then what I do as well is I've got some toilet rolls. So hamsters like tunnels. They, like I said, they like to hide away, so they hide in the holes. So I put a couple of those in. I'll put that one back in in a minute. Um, so Thorin has got a big cage. You can get small cages or big cages. And Thorin has got a big cage. It's got different levels on it for him to climb up and hide away and everything. So I'll put that first level on and a little, little ramp for him. So you can get down to the bottom. Uh, and then his house goes in. His house goes in about here. Don't know if you can see that. I'll move the cage. His house goes about there. And then the next thing to put in is his second part. So we've got to put this in. He might co come over here now because I freed him. So yeah, this is the second part of the cage. So this bit goes, just attaches onto here. And these holes at the front here are for his tube. So he's got a tube that runs on the outside that he likes to run in and out of. So I just attach that to there, like so. And get his other part of his cage, other tube in. So that goes there and underneath. Okay, so that's the majority of his cage pretty much done now. So with hamsters, they've got big teeth and to keep their teeth gnawed down and to keep their teeth not so sharp, we put little toys in for him. So this is a little wicker carrot that he nibbles on. So I can put that down in there. And then I also put a little wooden orange. So it's not a real orange, it's a little wooden orange. Um, for him to help with his teeth. Um, and then I put in his second level. So he's got another level again. So this one I put in here, just on the top. This bit's a bit finicky because you have to line it up properly. So he's nibbling me at the minute. He's been a little monkey he likes to follow me around and nibble at my clothes and put holes in my clothes when i am cleaning them out so that's his second bit and this here that i've just put in is uh, another little gnawing toy to help with his teeth so it's a little tree it's a christmas tree got it for him for christmas um that he chews on and climbs up he can't fit in this hole because he's too big he's having to go on a diet because he's eaten too much and is too bad now, so he needs to lose some weight. I need to try and get him in his ball a bit more often so he loses some weight on that. Lovely, and then the second part that I put in is his other little ladder so we can get up and down. I'll put another little tube up here. Okay, so the most important thing about animals is that they need feeding and that they need water, just like what we need feeding, we need food and water. So. I have got him here 
I have got his little food bowl. So I'm just gonna get some food for him. Now, hamsters need feeding every day. Their food needs changing every day. So I change his food every day to make sure that he has fresh food. So it's just like a little hamster mix. And I give him a small bowl of it at the minute because like I said, he is getting a bit big, so he needs to lose a little bit of weight. So he gets only a small bit um, in his bowl. And I also have for him some treats, but he had a treat yesterday, so he doesn't need a treat today. But he can have like a little sun, I'll find a sunflower seed or a peanut out of his food, and he can have one of those today. Just so he gets used to my hands. Um, now hamsters you can handle, so you can have them on your hands and let them play in your hands and stuff, but Thorin doesn't like being in people's hands, he likes to be in his little house and stuff. So he'll take treats from my hand and I can stroke him, but he doesn't like being handled, so when he's out of his ball we'll just put him straight back in his cage. Right, so that's his food done. Now, the other important thing that he needs is water. So with his water, his water needs changing every day and it goes in this bottle here. Um, I clean the bottle out very, um, every week as well using a bottle cleaner to make sure that there's no germs or anything in his bottle. So that attaches just here. You won't be able to see it, but I'll show you the cage afterwards. So that's his water, so I think we're nearly ready for Thorin to go back in. It's nice and quick, just thought I'd explain it. But yeah, hamsters need food every day, water every day, and they need changing every week to make sure that they're nice and clean. They're like cats in a way that they clean themselves, so they clean their own fur and clean their ears themselves, but their homes and their bedding needs changing. So you change them every week. Um, and yeah, I think we're ready to put Thorin back in his home. I'll see if I can give him a sunflower seed for you guys. So I'm just going to move his cage to where it belongs. And I'll show you all in a minute. Okay, so that's that bit on. And then this is the top. This is the top that goes on it. To make sure he doesn't escape because if he escapes we're in trouble so there's one hamster i'm just going to see if i can move the camera a little bit so you can see the cage when i put him back in here we go so you can kind of see right and time to put the hamster back in I keep gnawing at my clothes at the minute so you need to go back in don't you but yeah here we go there we are, and I'll just see if I can give him one of these because he likes a little treat. Good boy. There we go. And there we are, one happy, clean hamster. So he's a lot happier now. Let's see if I can find him. He's just gone into, oh, I don't know if I can see. He's just gone into that little house there. So, but there we go. That is how we change a hamster and how I look after my hamster. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It is a long video, I do apologize. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon.